back. It's still nine days it's, from Christmas. Yeah, Christ. All right, so again, Sycamore Brewing. Uh, now, we have had this one. I guess I, I said it was Imperial. It's not. It's, it's not. only an 8.1 percenter, and the regular it's one is 7.5, aged. so it's barrel aged. It, it just has that extra kind of, mm -hmm. you know, whiskey taste to bourbon, it, I guess. Bourbon, yeah. whatever. So anyway, this has not always been our favorite. Like last year, we only got two cans of it. And that was a mistake because it was great. It was awesome. Okay, so when we first found out about Sycamore, one of the first beers I ever had there, I think the first beers we did have there was the salted coconut. Yeah, because I wanted the strawberry wheat or whatever. That's and right. you were like, no, no you, you want, you want okay. to have this. So salted <laughs> coconut, they had that for, it was a staple for years there. And I guess it was just too much of a bitch to make. They only canned it once or twice. We did go there for a can release one time. But I guess because of coconut flake, they didn't use coconut <clears throat> extract or any nonsense no, like that. No, they said it was really sticky. It was a huge It was pain a huge pain in the ass. But I mean, if they ever brought it back, I would be down there in a Every flash. Um, so, but this... Last year, I thought it was like, it tasted just like the salted coconut. I was like, man, I think they just canned salted coconut and called it barrel aged Christmas cookie. See, this yeah, yeah, I, 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 I mean, like, what, what is going on? He's here? desperate for attention. Oh, we okay. never pet him. Yeah, terrible, terrible. All right, so. Um, <clears throat> so, this is their barrel aged. It says, well, jingle my bells and stuff my stocking. A special edition of Christmas cookie winter ale. Hold on to your sugar plums. This barrel-aged goodness is headed down the chimney. Boom. Okay. And the can art is still the same. Yeah. It's just got a bunch of it's just different things color. with legs. and Yeah, it's silver instead of green. Yep. So, as you can see, like, there's the can. Yay. And, I mean, you can tell, like, right next to it. There's no mistake okay. in the two. Okay. So. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. It does have that aroma, that it kind of boozier. boozier. But really, it, it, it's... At 8%er, it's not like we're... This is not 0. killing 6%, anybody. 0.6%, yeah. I mean, it's only more 0.6% <laughs> more than the other one. I don't know if Sycamore still sells these glasses, but if they do, they're pretty cool little glasses, honestly. We only use them one time a year around Christmas. Yeah, you can definitely get... I get that that whiskey barrel, bourbon barrel aroma, at least. That's really good. The bourbon flavor is prevalent, but not in that kick you in the throat way. If you don't like okay. bourbon, that you won't like it. Like, this is delicious. It does taste different really than last year. Deep vanilla notes. Deep, roasty. It does have that brown barrel sugar. age. Yeah, brown yeah. sugar. But it does not taste like salted coconut. No, so there's no mistaking it from that. last year. That's so good. Yeah, I got we got the a four pack. Of I'll be drinking year. all of those. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Ooh, mm. ooh. Yeah, but it is, you can, it definitely has a, a different kind of punch than the regular mm. one. Yeah. So, and while it's not wildly more boozy, it does have that, it just has that barrel age. Like, can, can kick you in the face sometimes. Um, we had a pumpkin oh, when we were down in Florida, Kentucky. and I didn't really care for it. It was one of those Kentucky barrel aged no. pumpkin beers, and it, it was like, eh, there. I didn't care for it. You liked it, though. I had already had several other beers, so I didn't give a shit. Oh. So wasn't my cup of tea. But we had had that one in the past, and it wasn't my cup of tea then either. So I don't know. you got to be really in the mood, I think, for this barrel-aged stuff if you're not a whiskey or bourbon drinker, which I am not. But um, this is definitely palatable. Like, um, I won't have a problem drinking one of these. Um, the other two will probably go to Suzanne, honestly, you know, at least. But um, it is tasty. Mm, yes. Like, really like no doubt. Um, I would go with the original... Personally, if I had to choose between the two, but if this is the only one that was there, I would damn sure be getting this one. So this is the barrel aged Christmas cookie. Oh, a winter ale. I called it a white ale. It's winter ale. I'm an idiot. Um, I can't read. I guess I do need glasses. Like fuck, man. I... You heard it here first. Oh, Maybe that's God. what Santa will bring you. We were down in Florida this past week, and all my buddies were sitting at a table. We went, we went out to eat, and I got a few beers and everything else. Everybody's got out their readers when they're looking at the fucking menu, and I'm just like, I can't bring myself to do it. I think I'm going to have to now. Like, I swear to God, I thought that said white ale, yeah. and it said winter. Maybe. Damn it. Anyway. It's going to bring you glasses. All right. Sycamore Brewing uh, Barrel Age Christmas Cookie Winter Ale. Uh, this is still on shelves, so if you're in the mood for something that is, you know, got that whiskey-ness to it, it's also got a mild sweetness, and it's a brown sugar vanilla cookie beer, give mm -hmm. it a shot. 
Um, they're delicious. Like we said at the beginning, we kind of have a love-hate relationship with Sycamore. Um, you know, I don't want to go to the brewery and have a beer in a plastic cup. This is in a high school kegger. Or deal with a bunch of child, you know, children out there. Childs. So, childs. childs. The childs. Childs. Anyway, we're going to go, um, I don't know, watch some watch TV or something. Things. Yeah. Drink these beers. So we'll be back tomorrow. We have at least two more cookie beers to do. And uh, then we got a bunch of winter ales and shit like that over there. So we're ready. We'll be back. <laughs>